Friday, September the 1st. <laughs> Stay there. Don't go. One of these. Look at this. This is lovely. This is a li my new little tablet. So, why did I buy it? What is it? Well, as I'm sure you can see, it's an Amazon Fire tablet. I've had nearly every single tablet I think that's out in the market um, over the past few years and I found them to be really good and I, I just go off them and I get rid of them and then I think oh I need a tablet and I buy another one and then I use it for its purpose and then I think to myself nah it's just been sitting there for a couple of months to get rid of it. So why this? Well I'm going on holiday very soon and I thought that a nice little tablet would be a great little thing rather than me carrying around a laptop. I can carry this around, I can connect to Wi-Fi and do whatever I've got to on this. So I thought I'd buy a cheap one. This is an Amazon Fire um, tablet. Now there's no endorsement here. That I'm doing this totally off my own back before anybody says, oh you've said the name twice. Yes, and I'm probably going to say it a few more times as well. So I bought the blue one um, and so far I like it. So far it's good. It's pretty much it is Amazon's version of Android. So what they've done is they've taken the stock Android and they've added little bits to it in the same vein as, uh, as Samsung does with uh, TouchWiz and all those other manufacturers do as well. I'm more of a naked Android man. I don't like all the little fluff that people add to it. It just, it just causes things to run slow and there's just no need of it. But Amazon's is a little bit different. So over the past couple of years, I've bought quite a few Amazon products, not just products from Amazon. I bought the Fire TV stick and the Fire TV. And I quite like the interface. It's quite plain. You just basically scroll to the left, scroll to the right, and, and that's it. And then click the central button whenever you want to go into, into something like TV or anything like that. Um, and this is no different. Okay, so this is what the tablet looks like. So flip it over, you've got quite a nice finish to the back. I think there's five colours, little camera at the top and a little speaker at the bottom there. Flip it back and you're back to just the standard tablet screen. Camera at the top. Now this confused me and slightly annoyed me to begin with. Whenever you turn it on, you get a new advert as your lock screen. So then you swipe through, you get the standard and Android interface or Amazon's own Android interface. As you then just swipe through, you go through to books, prime video, games, you go through the actual Amazon shop here and you can see things that you've bought and recommendations, apps as well. This is Amazon's own app store. This isn't the Google Play Store, although the Google Play Store can be sideloaded as an APK and then you can install apps from that then. Then we go through and we've got Amazon Music, Audible, Brilliant, really liking that. As well as newsstand as well. So then, you just sim back to the bottom just by clicking the little circle there. So yeah, you've got quite a few apps installed, pre-installed, um, as you uh, when you first look at the, the tablet. Also, you can scroll over. This is where Android has the Google Now um, little bit. Uh, well, this is pretty much like Android, uh, Amazon's version of Google now anyway. Uh, applications you've used, recommendations and things like that along with the weather. So, yeah, lots of things going on with this tablet. It's pretty quick. Battery life, that was what I was most concerned about. We're on 48%. I charged this to 100 yesterday evening before I even opened it. So within uh, almost a day, it's gone down to just under half. And that's been with a lot of use. So I would say probably a day and a half to two days uh, of battery life if you're going to use it constantly like I have. Also, you can just swipe down from the top. You will notice people who have... Um, 
an Amazon Fire TV, Amazon Fire Sticks, this interface is exactly the same. It is their Fire OS. So to be honest with you, it's going to be exactly the same. It's pretty simple, pretty basic, but it works and it's quite effective. So that is the overall look of um, and the of the interface. It's okay. I think to be honest with you, it's going to grow on me over time as I start filling it full of apps. But we'll come back. We'll have a look at it at a later time as well, just to see exactly how it is doing. Um, the uh, tablet itself updated twice yesterday. Two new Fire OS updates coming down. Amazon are pretty good with keeping up to that. So from a security point of view, don't have to worry particularly too much because there's going to be an update which is pushed over the air every couple of uh, weeks every couple of months um, so that in itself again another plus point to go for it so the couple of plus points I looked at price the fact that there's security updates it's an OS that I absolutely love I'm a total fanboy of Android uh, prefer the naked Android but this isn't as bad as TouchWiz so you know plus points there um, and overall it's size seven inch nice little tablet quite thin fits in your, if it literally fits in your back pocket of your jeans um but yeah just don't sit in it um all in all very very good very very happy so it's a it's a thumbs up from me you can also side load apps like the google play store so you can have all uh, the apps on the Google Play Store to install on there and to be honest with you it's pretty good I've used it for well since last night it turned up last night and I've used it since last night and I'm recording this now at 1 yeah 1 p.m. so I've used it for quite a while I've set everything up everything was pretty much quite seamless when it turned up a word of warning for if you're buying two or three uh, at one time when you buy them they do come ready signed in with the Amazon account that you bought it from so if you're buying it for a friend don't forget to take your Amazon account off it because it'll be on there when your friend turns on turns on his or her um, tablet all in all it's very good it's not the fastest it's quite it's pretty quick it hasn't slowed down yet it ha does have expandable storage up to 256 gig it comes with 16 gig built in um, but to be honest more than that it's a quad core uh, I think it's either 2 or 4 gig of RAM so it's pretty it's specs are pretty much the same as what you would get uh, for any other uh, any other tablet around about the same price as the weeks go on I'm gonna keep on using this uh, so I'll keep you I'll I'll just let you know how it, how it goes, if it lasts, if it doesn't last. I mean, the good thing about this, same as Apple products, is there's a place to return it to. So rather than if you buy a third party that doesn't have a store, doesn't have a very massive web presence, um, it, you can find it quite tricky to send it back. With this, you can just send it straight back. They should replace it. Amazon are pretty normally, uh, they're normally pretty good with their own stuff. Um, so price, this was $59.99, I believe. Um, if memory serves for that it's not bad back camera front camera little speaker at the bottom charging port as well as your 3.5 mil jack for headphones you've got your audio rocker you've got your SD card in the side there as well uh, so all in all it comes with quite a lot of features um, so I'm going to keep on cracking on in it and just let you know exactly how it goes. So what's in store for the rest of the day? Well, yes, you're very right. Today is Friday. Yes, I'm doing a vlog. I've been pretty terrible with doing them recently. I've had so much on. Um, so today I'm off from work. Uh, take a little bit of time off. Uh, recharge my batteries a little bit. I've got so much to do in the house. I'm expecting a couple of parcels and a couple of other things. We're also, as I mentioned earlier, going on holiday towards the end of September. So I'm just getting everything sorted now as I've got a bit of time. Um, so I'm also sorting out everything here. So this office isn't very big. It's quite small and it's just jam-packed with mostly quadcopters and servers. Um, so... <laughs> I'm aiming to spend this weekend gutting the whole place. I've got to set up um, a new little uh, sort of area here, but I'll cover that in a separate video probably tomorrow. Um, and I've got to set up a green screen and a couple of other things. But again, as I'm saying, that's not now. Um, so yeah, so today was just about pretty much that. Um, yeah, that, that's it. So I'm going to just head off.